G'day everyone, we are in Arlington, Virginia and it is 15 May 2021 and we are about to see the emergence of the 17 year cicada. literally going to be thousands of these cicadas everywhere and I'd hate to lose a lot of this good protein. So if you're curious about what these taste like or how you can cook them up, come inside and I'll show you how it's done. Entomophagy, also known as insect eating. As you may or may not know, it is about to hit the 17 year mark where these little cicadas are about to come out of the ground and swarm in literally billions. There is going to be up to 50 of these cicadas per square foot in some areas of Arlington, and it is going to be loud, it is going to be crazy. But I cannot let potential protein or a good source of nutrients go untested. I'm going to cook these in a couple of different ways tonight and show you, are they worth cooking? Are they edible? And is this something you wanna try at home? Oh my gosh, I think I immediately regret this. I literally see cicada poo everywhere. Ooh, this is gonna be a hard one. If you tried this before, leave me a little comment below if you think I'm crazy, or if you got a good recipe tip, but uh, wow, this is gonna be interesting. Stay tuned. So I guess, uh, the first test we're going to try is the good old fried cicada. I'm going to cook these in a pan with a little bit of butter, garlic, salt and pepper and saute them up and see how that goes. Um, yeah. So I guess what's important to note is that these cicadas here are freshly out of the ground. They've been slowly, uh, you know, collecting sap and, and growing underground for 17 years and as they've come out they're fresh they're uh, relatively clean and um, they don't have that hard exoskeleton yet they don't have the wings and they are they are pretty fresh so by doing that and getting the fresh cicadas straight out of the ground I think they're going to be a lot tastier than full-grown adult like cicadas that have the wings and, and everything so that's my theory we'll see all right, we're gonna start with a big dollop of butter because I want to have these caramelized in butter. Okay, next, we're gonna put in a bit of garlic. There's a little bit of garlic there. Mix that in the butter. Okay, we're gonna get our cicadas. Put them in, here we go. Get that nice hot flame. I'm gonna add some pepper and some salt. Really just gonna fry them up there. All right, so there we have some nice buttered, garlic and salted cicadas here. Just letting them crisp off a little bit. I'm looking for that crispy touch. And yep, got that nice crispy skin. I'm gonna turn that flame off now and we are ready to plate. All right, here we go. We are ready. These are nice and we are just going to put them in here. Oh, they actually smell quite nice. That garlic and salt aroma is coming out. Let's hope they have that nice salty taste through them. All right, here we go. Plating up. Grab some of that garlic crisp as well. Here we are. Oh, they are nice and crispy and very hot right now.
Guys, here we are. We've cooked them up and we are about to try cicada. They look okay. They feel crunchy. But what are they going to taste like? Let's have a look now. I'm just going to do it. Oh. That is actually <laughs> really, really, really good. I'm of course getting the taste of butter and garlic and salt, but deeper in when you're eating that uh, cicada, I'm getting hints of like satay. This is literally quite tasty. <laughs> Guys, if you think I'm crazy, leave me a comment. Or if you think I'm onto something, leave me a comment and think, what else could you do with uh, cicadas? I know this method works. What else have we got out there? Look, I think I'm going to leave it, uh, leave it there for tonight. Um, let me know if you want me to cook up cicadas any other way. I'm going to put these in the freezer now to keep them uh, nice and fresh for maybe next time. If you want cicadas with Vegemite or cicadas another way. Guys, look, thanks for watching. I know this is a little bit off topic normally for me, but otherwise, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it's given you something to try or think this is absolutely disgusting. But otherwise, if you can give me a big thumbs up, comment, absolutely comment if you think this is crazy or if you've done this before. And if you haven't already, please consider hitting that subscribe button to help us along. But otherwise, thanks again for watching and we'll see you on the next video. Bye for now. No, don't peel it. It's all nice and crunchy. You gotta put the whole thing in your mouth. Just, just put the whole thing in your mouth. Not for you?